What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 46 of my FIFA 14 Rhodes Gold over around the world series. Welcome back guys. Last episode we finished off with the Super League squad and I probably did the worst performance out of any league I've possibly done. I think I got 8 losses, 1 win, something absolutely dreadful. But uh, we're going to be moving on to a brand new league, the Alts Kvenskan, which I believe is the Swedish league. And we're going to be playing, I think is the, ah oh, mate, I can't think off the top of my head. Um, we'll have to quick have a quick look when we go back. I believe I'm playing the four. Ah, come on, whatever. Um, basically, we're going to go and pick up a goalkeeper, Hansen there. Um, we use him in FIFA 13, fairly solid um, solid striker. Uh, go and pick up a right back, bronze player, the only bronze player in the squad, a nine man here. Used to be a right mid, I do believe, in FIFA 13, but uh, go and pick him out as right back, probably the fastest option there. Centre backs, though, go and pick up a back man and Carlson here. Um, both. Fairly high pace, 78 pace I think on Carlson, and I think it is 70, you know, 68 pace on Backman. Um, so a good combination there, I do believe, in the middle. Picking up a left back, we're going to pick up Ricardinho, the Brazilian player, plays for Malo FF, I think it is. Um, uh, 82 pace there, looks fairly solid, 69 rated. That's a good number to be rated. Um, but uh, the defence playing at four at the back, more comfortable with four at the back, I think, other than the 3 5 2, where you've got that defensive options. Go and pick up a centre mid here. I believe we're playing the 4 3 1 2 formation. So a two centre mids and a centre forward, centre attack mid. Go and pick up Borges and Moro here. Use these two, well, I use Borges in the FIFA 13, very, very good player. Uh, Moro there just filling in the centre mid spot. Hopefully, he could be a bit of a tank in the middle. Go and pick up Mailungu, the South African. 88 pace here. Very, very pacey player. 72 rated. Very, very decent player. Use him again in FIFA 13 as well. Looking for a centre forward. Go and pick up Heisen. Um, Swedish striker. Well, striker, centre forward, whatever you want to call it. 83 pace. 71 rated overall. Go and put him in the centre forward role. I'm not going to swap him out because that costs way too much. Um, so I just decided to go and put him in. Hopefully the chemistry won't be too muchly affected. Go and pick up this player here. Nigerian striker. And uh, I'm not too sure how you pronounce his name. I'm going to call it a Bonaki. Um, I'm going to have that pronunciation absolutely horribly wrong, but uh, I don't know a better way of doing it. And looking for the final player of this squad, I do believe, we're going to go and pick up El Kabir, the Netherlands striker, plays for BK Hacken in the Arctic Venskan. Picking up, um, I do believe I was looking for him in the Hunter chemistry style, due to his pace being a, bit, a little bit low, but go and pick him up. I think that was in the finisher chemistry style for about 900 coins, and definitely recommend that player. 81 pace, um, 74 dribbling, and 71 shot. Fantastic player indeed to go and have on your squad, but um, just slowly selling off the players I currently have in my transfer list. Now looking at some club items to go and put on the squad here. Go and pick up the BK Hackham badge just to go and apply that onto the squad there. And now going to moving on to some of the kits here. Hopefully some fresh kits. Took some time to go and find one. Looking for this lime green one, I think it is. Uh, go and put that as our away kit, I think that one is. And um, for the home kit, I think I go and choose um, the... I'm not, I'm not too sure how to pronounce these names, but a dark blue and light blue striped sh um, jersey, should I say, um, uh, for the home version there. So the kids are looking fresh, the squad is looking fresh, and the badge shows the true potential of this squad. I'm not too sure what I'm talking about. I'm talking completely out my arse, basically. But uh, go and look for a possession ch um, change, um, position sorry, change uh, for Heisen. Striker to centre forward, and that was going for about 1.4k, which is totally pointless. I thought I could do with the drop of about 7 chemistry or something stupid. Um, so uh, I decided not to go with that. Um, go and put some substitutes on to the squad so we can go and go and play the first game with the squad. And hopefully we can go and get a win, get back onto our win streak, get back onto a good performance. As you can see there, green latency. Um, definitely looking forward to this game. Come against a Serie A squad in a 3-5-2 formation. And I was basically pretty happy about this, seeing three at the back. I knew I could take a chance of it, especially in the 4-3-1-2 formation. Very, very nice attacking support. As you can see, quick over the top ball into a Borniaki, And he's going to go and finish out with a very nice half volley. In the 48th minute, to go and make that 1-0. Then moving to the 51st minute here. Um, over the top ball gets intercepted from his centre-back. And he's going to go and pass. A nice, nice defensive tackle from my player. Unfortunately, he goes and picks up an interception again. But we go and pick one up. And we're going to put that ball out wide into it. Borniaki, nice, nice turn indeed. And again, nice free ball into Heisen. Finesse that pass the keeper. And we're 2-0 up in the 55th minute here. And uh, things are looking to change. 
a lot more positive and um, I, I was I was pretty enjoying it going back to winning ways. As you can see here, I wasn't going to pick that ball up, but um, I basically just made him cut it back into his keeper. I had no really else to, options to go. And pings that down into the field. And this was the only, should I say, mistake um, I made all day. Moscardelli, the silver, slowest player I've seen in my life, um, goes and does a fantastic rocket into the top left-hand corner to go and make that 2-1. But that was the end result, and we've got back to our winning ways. Going and picking up a win First game with this Alska Venskan squad. Um, defensively, I just seemed absolutely solid. I'm not too sure what it was. Um, as you can see here from the stats, I think my possession was a lot higher. Um, he had a bit more shots than me. But uh, again, doesn't really matter how many shots you have as long as you go and score the goals. Um, but um, I was pretty happy about that. Got me confident uh, that I could go and actually get back up into Division 4. My aim, my, my main aim is to be able to get to Division 1. Uh, hopefully, I should be able to do it. Between the time of doing, I think it is, I, I'm going to have a good run. I go from the Bundesliga into the Liga Portuguesa into the Liga Adelante and then BVA. If I can just hold out into the Liga Adelante and then do the BVA, uh, BBVA, I should be absolutely fine um, to get into Division 5 if I worked it out. But uh, we go into that game there and it just seemed to not disconnect. But, um, that guy looked like I had a very, very solid squad indeed. So I was pretty happy about that game not full going straight through. Um, my latency, however, has gone back down to red. I'm not too sure um, what is actually going on about this one. But uh, as you can see, a lot first game, I had full green bar. This game, I'm just getting one red bar, which um, I decided just to go and brave it. I really wanted to go and complete, carry on with using the squad. And they come against a, bit, a premier squad here. Um, and Navas, Torres, William, some very, very pacey players indeed. But uh, he's going to go and cross this ball in into the head of Carlson. We're going to win that header. And look at the amount of plus support players. Over the top ball in El Tecabia here. And uh, Vincent Company is doing some work tracking back. Um, but uh, we get very, very lucky here. And um, shouldn't have really had a shot there. But Heisen picks his ball up. Cuts inside. Finesses that into the top right corner there. Let's go and make that 1-0 in the 34th minute. Um, a nice counter-attack goal there, shall I say. He was on the counter-attack. Look at the amount of players we've got up. And it eventually, again, um, unfortunately, really should have done better. El could be there. And somehow just seemed to run over that ball. Um, but uh, we go and pick up the tackle here. Real Cardinho does some fantastic work. Quick one-two between the players and into the path of Heisen. We cast that back into El Kabir. Again, gets fairly lucky for that ball to fall into the path. And rockets that into the right-hand side of the goal. Let's go and make that 2-0 in the 44th minute. Moving to the second half here. Vincent Company makes a die challenge there. To go and take that ball there. Over the top ball into the path of Jesus Navas. And Rui Cardinho just seems to be bossing that left-hand side there. And also providing enough attack into the ball. As you can see here, this guy just seems to be an absolute genius on the left back side. And um, unfortunately, he does lose the ball there. But we're going to get that interception. Ricardinho again passes a nice pass into El Kabir. Some fantastic work. And I was very, very happy with this goal. Some very, very nice quick ping pong passing. Finds the cross into Iboniki. He's going to go and put that into the back of the net for a 3-0 lead. Um, he goes for a quick goal kick into the path of Fernando Torres. Bad header from my defensive, but you can only do so much. Uh, but a fantastic save from my keeper, never left. So go and put that in, out for a corner. I was pretty happy about that one. This guy was, again, one of those players who just goes through ridiculously long shots. Um, I know I was 3-0 up, but... Um, you at least try and get at least a couple of goals. But uh, going to the hour mark here, he goes and gets a corner. And we're going to smack that ball out. And it just falls into the path of Fernando Torres. And my keeper, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, comes over the post, bounces off his diving save into the back of the net there. To go and make that 3-1. Then moving to the 90th minute. And that was the end result. 3-1 victory there. So that's two wins um, so far with this Alves Gavinson squad. The defence is absolutely solid. Ricardinho just seems to be bombing down that left-hand side. And I've realised I, I can't play any three at the back formation. Well, I haven't tried the others. But look at those stats. 15 shots on target. 56 possession. I absolutely bossed that guy there. Deserved the win there. Very, very happy with the performance. And we just wanted to get straight on to the next games. But uh, as you can see here... And transfers are slowly dwindling down, and uh, the amount of players I still have remaining. Um, I eventually do go and discard the um, contractless players um, later on in the upcoming episodes, and the other players do eventually sell, other than the gold Ronaldo guys. So if you want a gold Ronaldo um, with my show, go and pick him up. Go. But uh, guys, this comes to the end of the episode. Remember to hit that like button because we have gone back. With this Alex Avengers squad doing fantastic well. Subscribe to stay tuned to the series. And remember, any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated, guys. This has been Corrosh. Till next time, adios.